Good morning. I'm so glad you could join me. As we get closer to spring and we get into the month of Easter, I wanted to remind you that this Sunday is daylight savings time. And so uh, before you go to bed on Saturday night, make sure you turn your clocks forward. We spring forward an hour and uh, so that you'll be on time for church. Uh, be a good time for you to get in the habit of coming back to church if you're not doing that. So I wanted to remind you of that so you'll join us and make sure you're prepared. My funny for today is guess what day it is? It is hump day. And I know many of you are looking forward to the weekend and that's good and I, I'm with you. Of course I look forward to the weekend because I like to worship. I like to go to church. Today I wanted to share as, as we talk about Easter, the month of Easter and we get ready for that at the end of this month. I wanted to share with you from uh, Mark 16, 9. I want you to look at that with me. It says, Now when he rose early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had cast seven demons. You know, if we've listened to many sermons and Easter sermons, we're familiar with Mary Magdalene. And she was instrumental in Jesus' ministry. And we know Jesus healed her and cast out demons. So there's, there's many sermons in, in her story. But today I wanted to talk about faithfulness. Faithfulness. You know, the Bible speaks of this many times. And it talks about God's faithfulness. I want to talk about our faithfulness. Faithfulness is essential in good marriages, in friendships. It's essential with employees to their employer. But it's also more important as a Christian. You know, when we look at the story and we talk about Easter, looking through the Bible, there's very few times that's mentioned of Mary Magdalene. In the four Gospels, it says a group of women who had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities and who supported Jesus. We see this in Luke 8, 1 through 3. One of those women was called Mary Magdalene that I'm talking about today. Mary, who was from the town of Magdala, on the western shore of the Sea of Galilee. Uh, this Mary is mentioned only by Luke until this morning of Jesus' resurrection. And on the morning of the resurrection of Jesus, all four of the Gospels, they cite her as being among the first. Uh, we see it in Luke 24, 1 through 10. And in Mark 16, verse 9, we also, the one I've shared with you today. And she's the first to get to the resurrected Christ. Luke, the physician, notes that the women came to the tomb to complete Jesus' burial ritual. And that was with the spices that were traditionally used. And we read about that in Luke 24, verse 1. But they came and they only find an empty tomb. And it was to Mary Magdalene that Jesus revealed himself in the garden, telling her to return to the disciples and announce his return to life, that he was resurrected, that he had overcome death. You know, for what Jesus had done for Mary Magdalene to restore her life, she repaid his love and his mercy with faithfulness. She was faithful and she was a strong supporter of his ministry. And I suspect that is the point of him appearing to her first. He's rewarding her faithfulness. You know, it was a message to all of us that great is thy faithfulness. We see this, there's a, there's a song that we sing in the church, great is thy faithfulness. It's an old hymnal. And it shows how important it is to be rewarded for your faithfulness. You know, let her faithfulness, Mary Magdalene, and her devotion to Jesus be an example to you today. Because Jesus has died on the cross, and he's redeemed all of us, 
not just Mary Magdalene, but all of us. You and I owe him our souls, and we should be faithful to him to the end. And we should follow him to the throne of God. I want you to examine your life today. How faithful are you in your marriage, in your friendships? With your employer, are you trusted? How faithful are you to God? Can he trust you with the blessings and resources and talents that he's given you? Are you giving back to further the kingdom of God on earth as in heaven? Not just giving your money, which you should be doing that, is what the Bible commands us, but you should, you should also give your talents. Use them to be faithful to the Lord. John Ruskin said these words, and I quote, Faithfulness knows no difference between small and great duties. We know that part of the Bible that says you've been faithful over a few things and I'll give you many. Are you being faithful? I want you to think about that as we celebrate Easter this month and we talk more about that in our devotions and on Sunday morning. I hope that you'll take time to join us on Sunday. If you don't have a church, we invite you to come and be a part of ours. If you can't be there physically, you can also stream us online on YouTube and Facebook. Before we go today, I'd love for you to pray with me. If you would, bow your head and let's pray. Almighty Holy God, I thank you for your faithfulness. You are faithful to us. You always keep your promises. We can always count on you, God, to do what is good for us and to bless us. And I pray that we could learn from your word, that we could seek to be faithful to you, filled with your Holy Spirit, devoted to serving you, honoring you, and glorifying you in all that we do. I pray that you'll be with us today and each one that's listening to this message. Draw us closer to thee. Heal us, Father, if we need healing, whether it's physical or spiritual. You know our needs. We pray your blessings will be with us. Maybe there's a relationship that needs healing, Father, and I just pray that you would touch that relationship and heal it and bring it closer to you. We seek your blessings through the glory of Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me. I pray that you have a good week. Look forward to seeing you soon.